the CART platform, so it's two A's as opposed to one, um, is designed to eliminate selectively memory B cells that give rise to plasma cells that generate autoantibodies that cause various autoimmune diseases. Most of these autoimmune diseases tend to be B cell mediated, the ones that we're targeting. We're in a phase one trial in Pemphigus vulgaris. And there you have autoantibodies to a protein called DSG3, which disrupts the skin and causes uh, painful blisters in the mouth and, and other mucosal surfaces. So our whole approach is to selectively eliminate just those memory B cells. The plasma cells will eventually die off, and the antibodies go away, and the patient you know, uh, goes towards cure. Um, this is different from a standard car, which basically, which most cars, uh, especially CD19 cars, wipe out um, all B cells, all CD19 positive B cells. We're just trying to wipe out the ones that cause the autoimmune disease. So that's kind of the key difference. Uh, similarities, um, you know, our product is autologous. Um, the actual intracellular side is identical to Kimraya. So it's a Zeta 4 MBB car. The uh, extracellular side is where the differences are. So ours is actually a portion of the DSG3 protein um, so that it can bind uh, memory B cells through their B cell receptor or BCR. That's kind of the you know, differences and, and similarities. You know, it's a phase one dose escalation design, kind of standard three plus three, nothing, nothing really fancy there. Um, you know, we're going with increasing doses of CAR T cells in these, or CAR T cells in these patients. Um, we haven't really set an, announced anything. We're planning to announce in the middle of this year at a, you know, key meeting. And what we have disclosed, though, is that we've seen a dose-dependent increase in uh, persistence of our cells within the first 29 days after infusion. Also, from a clinical safety perspective, um, we haven't reported any adverse events or anything like that. Um, what's remarkable about the dose-dependent uh, persistence, or increase in persistence, is that we don't use lymphodepletion. So this is about using uh, lymphodepletion chemotherapies like cyclophosphamide or fludarabine. So that's kind of a cool result, I think.